In this video, I'm going to be going over the top 10 best value cards right now in NBA 2K23. My team, what I do mean by best value is for how much MT they go for, how good of a card they really are. So for example, if a good value card is going to be, for example, Pink Diamond Dino Raja, who is going to be in my top 10 because he goes for about 60,000 MT, maybe a little bit a little bit more or a little bit less. And he's going to be a top five power forward and a top 10 center in the game. So for only 60,000 MT, that is going to be really good for the amount of MT you're spending on the card and what kind of level of play you are getting out of that card. So example of a bad but a bad value card, I should say, is like a Clay Thompson, right? He's going for over 100,000 MT. And I really don't think he's like that amazing of a shooting guard. Not saying he's a terrible card, just I think for his price, you can get a lot of better shooting guards that are way cheaper. So talking about the top 10 value cards, first off here, not necessarily ranked in order, but first card is going to be Dino Raja. Like I said, he's about 60,000 MT. And I do think he's a top five power forward and a top five center as well. He's six foot 11 with a seven foot 11 wingspan. And that is one of the reasons why he's one of the best power forwards and centers in the game. He's going to be able to play some very good defense with a 90 block and 90 interior defense. Also going to go into the rim with a 90 driving dunk. He can finish around the basket. He's decently fast for the power forward position and really fast if you want to run him at center because he does have 89 speed, 89 acceleration. But I think the craziest thing about this card besides the wingspan is probably the dribble sigs and the jump shot they gave this card. They gave him the Donovan Mitchell base on quick timing. So a very solid jump shot. And then he's also got some amazing dribble sigs for your power forward. He's got the MJ dribble style, Steve Francis size up, Kobe Bryant escape, and the Dame behind the back. So I mean, this card's movement is going to be really good even for your power forward position. So I do think Dino Raja 1000% going to be a top five, a top 10 best value card in the game right now in season five. Next card I do want to talk about is going to be Pascal Siakam. I will include some expensive cards, some kind of mid-tier prices, and then some budget cards like Pascal Siakam because he only goes for about 20,000 MT. And I think for the level of play you do get at the small forward spot, I think he's one of the better value cards in the game. He's six foot nine with a seven foot three wingspan. And this card, I mean, if you can time his jump shot and get used to his release, I think he's one of the better small forwards in the game because yes, his jump shot is a little bit hard to time at first, but the more that I've used his Pascal card and the more that I've learned his jump shot, it's actually a very good jump shot to green in the catch and shoot and the defense and just overall he provides you such good defense good at going to the basket he's a fast card like he does everything on the court at a very high level so i do feel like for only 20,000 mt the amount of value he provides to your squad is going to be really really good but next card i do want to talk about here is going to be kind of another cheaper value card and that's going to be galley simple mpj he's about 25 to 30,000 mt and you can make a legit argument he's a top five small forward in the game do i think he's top five probably not I probably have him number six or number seven, but you can make an argument that he's a top five small forward. He's six foot 10 with a seven foot wingspan, and he's going to be really nice on the offensive end with a 94 three ball, 94 mid range, has tons and tons of good Hall of Fame shooting badges like Asian three, catch and shoot, Claymore, corner specialist, dead eye, green machine, guard up, limitless range. He's got pretty much every shooting badge in the game on Hall of Fame. And then he also does have a really good jump shot, in my opinion, like his release on very quick timing, I do think is a good jump shot. It's not like the greatest release in the game, but is a very solid jump shot that I feel like especially in the catch and shoot you can green pretty consistently with but sigs wise just like Dino Raja has some amazing dribble sigs you guys can see he's got the MJ dribble style Steve Francis size up which which what which like we talked about earlier is one of the better size ups in the game Oh, sorry, it is the best size up in the game. It's one of the best sigs in the game. And then he also does have the Kemba Walker escape, which is actually a very underrated escape in the game. And just all around for about 30,000 MT, he's going to be one of the better value cards in my team. Next card, though, here is going to be our first point guard we're going to talk about. And that's going to be also from the Radiant set, just like Pascal Siakam, is going to be Pink Diamond Denny. And the fact that this card goes for about 25,000 MT is crazy cheap because he's basically just a budget Ben Simmons or a budget Magic Johnson. To me, that's the best way to explain it because he's six foot nine at that point guard position he's also got a six foot ten wingspan and a very good player model in game yes that's in badges wise he's not going to be anything too crazy but he's got some okay stats like he can play defense you know he's got hall of fame clamps which is really nice and pretty much every defensive badge in the game on gold he's also got hall of fame clamp breaker handles for days quick first steps so really good playmaking badges wise for denny and then even his jump shot really isn't that bad it's still not like one of my favorite jump shots in the game it's not a really good release but you can still pretty you 
you can still easily green with this card if he is wide open and then he's also got the mj dribble style and the normal leaner so for like, like i said around 25,000 mt i do think denny is going to be a super super good value card at the point guard position fifth card here though is going to be one of the best budget cards if not the best budget card in the game which is going to be diamond Jaden mcdaniels he's a small forward power forward six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan and just take a look at these defensive stats he's got a 93 perimeter 94 lateral quickness 89 steel 85 block and an 88 interior defense so he's going to be a very solid defender his stats are just very solid all around whether it's playmaking you know inside scoring driving to the basket you know speed athleticism shooting like three ball mid-range all very decent on Jaden mcdaniels he's also got tons of good hall of fame defensive badges like anchor clamps glove interceptor menace and off ball pest as well but that's not the reason why Jaden is such a good small forward it's when you go to the animation screen he's got the steph curry escape which means he's got the curry slide he's got that really good curry escape animation and overall for your six foot nine small forward he's got some amazing movement and i feel like for his price tag of only being 5000 mt he's got to be one of the better budget cards or sorry one of the better bud one of the better value cards in my team right now just because of the fact that he's about 5,000 and you can make an argument he's even better than a guy like Pascal Siakam do I think he's better than Siakam probably not but it's a very close debate and he's only 5,000 MT so definitely one of the better budget cards in the game and one of the better value cards in the game as well talking about somebody that's a little bit more expensive going up to like 45 to 50,000 MT he might actually have dropped you know with the, obviously the new cards coming out to maybe 40 35,000 MT but I want to talk about Pink Diamond D-Rob and Dark Dark Matter D-Rob as well. I'm kind of putting the same card in the same, like I'm, I'm counting both D-Robs as one card just because I feel like his Dark Matter and his Pink Diamond version are both really, really good value cards because his Pink Diamond, debatably a top five center in the game and he only goes for about 40,000 MT, really good overall budget card. And then you look at his Dark Matter version, he's going to be one of the better centers and power forwards in the game. And with Kristaps dropping and obviously Yao Ming being in the game, he really doesn't go for that crazy amount of MT. Like I'm pretty sure he's only about like 350, 400,000 MT at least that's what I've, been, I've seen on Xbox for him ending as so that you know amount of value like he's one of the better cards in the game and only 350 400,000 MT I still feel like is one of the better value cards in the game but next card here though on the top 10 is going to be Terry Dishinger you guys probably know by now this card's a very elite shooting guard yes he doesn't have hails for days I know that's a pretty big flaw with the card but I still think for only about 30,000 MT, like I can't believe he's that cheap in the game. Like he is so good for about 30 to 35,000 MT. Good jump shot, really good dribble six, has a normal leaner, can play defense, drive to the basket, super athletic. I mean, there's nothing this card can do. I feel like for a six foot seven shooting guard, that's only about uh, 30 to 35K. I think he's gonna be a very good value card. Next card here though, kind of going up in price. These next three cards will definitely be a little bit more expensive. Starting that off with Jonathan Isaac. I mean, this card I do think is a top five small forward. He's six foot eleven at the small forward and power forward position. He's also got a seven foot two wingspan, and he's one of the new best defenders in the game. He's got a ninety eight block, ninety five steal, ninety seven lateral quickness, ninety five perimeter, ninety five interior defense, and also does have his jump shot on very quick timing, just like MPJ has his new or has his own jump shot on very quick timing. And then he's also got the Kevin Durant sig. So he is basically Galaxy Bull KD, but with amazing a defense probably a better jump shot in my opinion and the normal leaner as well so all around i do think jonathan isaac for about 80,000 mt maybe a little bit less a little bit more is going to be super super good for his price tag and then magic johnson like i said kind of going up in price a little bit i still think magic is around 200,000 mt he might be a little bit more might be a little bit less but you can still make an argument this is the best point guard in the game i like lamella ball a little bit more than magic but he's still six foot nine you know plays really good defense can handle the ball you know throw some passes pretty nicely and obviously he does uh, also does feel pretty quick on the court with that dame behind the back steve francis size up and his jump shot is now on quick timing so it's a very solid release and then guys to round off the top 10 best value cards in the game i feel like a perfect way to end that is with scotty pippen because of his value at the shooting guard and small four position because you can make an argument he's a top five shooting guard and you can also make a very valid argument that he is a top five small forward so for that and you're only spending about 125,000, maybe even less mt if you kind of get him on of a bit of a bid snipe the fact that you can get him for that cheap and he's so good at both of those positions i mean he's still one of the best on ball defenders in the game and still has one of the better jump shots as well but guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about my top 10 best value card list and let me know maybe some other really good value cards you guys would include in this top 10 but hopefully you guys enjoy the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace